की टीवी जी हाँ जहाँ खबरें होती हैं बिल्कुल बेबाक और बेमिसाल ऐसी ही एक रिपोर्ट के साथ हाजिर हूँ मैं आपके सामने तो चलिए बढ़ते हैं आज की खास खबर की ओर देश में इलेक्ट्रिक वाहनों की क्रांति को नया रफ्तार देने जा रहा है नीति आयोग का नया कदम आज दिल्ली के विज्ञान भवन में लॉन्च हुआ अनलॉकिंग ए 200 हंड्रेड बिलियन अपॉर्चुनिटी इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स इन इंडिया इन इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी इंडेक्स 2024 इस महत्वपूर्ण रिपोर्ट को लॉन्च किया गया है नीति आयोग के सदस्य श्री राजीव गोवा और सीईओ श्री वी वी आर सुब्रमण्यम के हाथों यह रिपोर्ट भारत में इलेक्ट्रिक मोबिलिटी को बढ़ावा देने और 200 अरब डॉलर की संभावनाओं को उजागर करने की दिशा में एक बड़ा कदम मानी जा रही है नीति आयोग के मुताबिक यह इंडेक्स देश में ईवी अपनाने की रफ्तार इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर की स्थिति और राज्यों की नीति प्रयासों का मूल्यांकन करता है साथ ही इसमें निवेश रोजगार और पर्यावरण पर पड़ने वाले प्रभावों की भी विस्तृत जानकारी दी गई है And of course, it lays down a big, big agenda as well as responsibility for all of this. So it also reminds me, you know, seven years back, at the same venue, down the stairs in the Plenary Hall, in the Global Move Summit, which was organized by Niti Aayog, the Prime Minister, for the first time, he laid down the attributes of new mobility that is going to be there, and he gave. In no unclear terms, the direction that electric mobility, electric vehicles, they kind of, they they are the ones which are which which kind of compromise, we compromise of all these attributes. All the seven of them are fit into the electric vehicles. So since that day, Niti Aayog has been kind of working assiduously in this area. Six months exactly after that, national mission was formed. Next month, that was. In the March, in the April of 2019, for the phase two was launched, and since then, you now we have been into launching flagship schemes, flagship programs, and industry has been equally, you know, they have been responding to our call, and this is how precisely we are looking forward. So on these two reports, also we will looking forward to the suggestions, to the guidance. If you wish to add something more, we are right there to take it forward. and ensure that we, all of us will take it ahead thank you and vehicle assembly to charging infrastructure and digital solutions put together it's a complete ecosystem with right and potential for rapid uh, growth so i congratulate our team in niti aayog wri ministry states all who have worked to help put this index and the <coughs> इलेक्ट्रिक <laughs> much less in four wheelers even less in trucks and buses given that is the set of initiatives that the government is taking is that set adequate or do we need to either scale up or do something different that was the thing which i think my colleague sudendu was referring to for over two months niti aayog has been meeting most of you in individual groups we have met two wheeler three wheeler four wheeler truck and bus makers fleet operators discoms urban municipal body members charging point operators people who are into battery swapping to understand the sector and then the report that is there to be the first one is a culmination of that i'm not going to go say what is in the report you'll have a presentation but we have identified key unlocks outside of incentives which are essential to move to a higher level of penetration in this and i think there is valuable guidance and i am very happy that my colleague from the uh, heavy industries ministry who is the karta ganta of this aggressively enhancing awareness and uh, making information available to me so we now quickly i'll just go through what each of these means you know incentives to mandates as i mentioned a certain percentage of vehicles should be electric at a certain time duration so the ways of how to do that will come about but here our recommendation is instead of looking at all vehicles 
can we look at a certain subset and start introducing mandates for a small subset of them. That will help a lot. The next is on a subset of vehicles. Our focus is primarily based on two things. One, which are the vehicles that travel longer distances in a day? That's one. Second, what is the subset of vehicles for which providing the charging infrastructure is easier? So vehicles that need charging infrastructure at concentrated locations are perhaps easier than vehicles that need a very distributed network of charging stations. That will evolve over time. But to start with, can we look at vehicles that travel long distances and vehicles for which charging infrastructure is easier? The first few bullets, the first part, five bullets of the auto industry is that the benefit of sorting we have not yet been able to transfer to the consumer. That is because the OEMs, because of rivalry amongst each other, have not been able to agree on a battery. What should be the standard battery which should fit in a Tata vehicle, or Mahindra vehicle, or Maruti vehicle, or a Ola vehicle. So that challenge we still need to grapple. And probably some, Niti has pointed out, maybe some more study can be done on that subject. So with these words, sir, uh, Niti has been the best possible friend a secretary can hope for. Whenever we make a scheme, we go to the finance department, the finance secretary wants to curtail the schemes and he looks towards Niti Ayo for support. <laughs> but under DVS Ogrovinsa's leadership, Niti Ayo refused to cooperate with the finance department. <laughs> and whatever we proposed has always been sanctioned. फिलहाल के लिए इतना ही फिर मिलूंगी आपसे एक ऐसी ही बड़ी और खास रिपोर्ट के साथ तब तक के लिए देखते रहिए भारत न्यूज़ 360 टीवी सच का सफर हर दिन तक